Hey everyone and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is D Free. Here today we'll be showing off the SS Blue Vegeta. And I wanted to start off by kind of going through a breakdown and then from there we'll actually jump into our showcase. Hope you guys enjoy today's video. Hit that subscribe, of course, if you are new for more content, as well as that notification so you don't miss anything we upload here on the channel. So the leader skill is three key, 120% across the board for int types. So we also take a look at the super attack. It now does immense damage to the enemy and raises attack and defense by 50% for three turns. Also, passive is 120% attack at the start of the turn. Also, extreme class enemies lose 20% attack and defense. And there's a high chance of stunning extreme class enemies when you attack. That does equate to a 40% chance to send the enemies for one turn. Also has super class Realm of Gods category allies get 50% defense boost. He's awesome. He's He's awesome. I think that he's going to shred SBR. I think that he's a character that, uh, for sure, though, you want to have investment in combo attack just so he's at his absolute peak. So this is a team who are running for him. So shout out to Hydros and, and all the people that work on uh, Unit Dokkan and Dokkan Battles um, uh, mod for Trident and stuff like that that allow us to do this and show it off early. That's also how we have translations and stuff. I'll leave uh, Trident down below in, a, uh, in, in the description or maybe in a pinned comment or whatever. So you guys can check that out as well if you want to jump on and test this stuff out for yourself. Now, for the record, there are other units that were added in this batch. Um, like an LR King Piccolo is coming for the World Tournament. The new Tech World I believe it's a Tech. I, I don't know why I'm saying Tech. But anyways, Android 17 uh, for the World Tournament is coming as well. If he's not Tech or whatever, right? Um, on top of that, though, they do have uh, this guy in the data. And some other stuff there as well. So I am not going to get around to doing that. Um, it's, it's, all, it's it's basically 3 o'clock in the morning right now. Um, and I was so hyped about Vegeta. I want to show Vegeta off. So he's going to be the only one that I get around to showing off. But I'm sure that, like, Truth or somebody will get around to checking those. To, uh, releasing a video on those. So if you guys want to check them out, you guys can. So, anyways. Um, yeah, like I said, Vegeta's going to shred SBR. Uh, the stun chance is incredible in SBR. The mass debuffing is also really incredible in SBR. Things like that are just made to just destroy Super Battle Road. So that is the most important thing I want to kind of get across in terms of how that works. Uh, I'll give this Vegeta uh, this stack. Can I do it? No, nah, I cannot give him the stack. Okay. Doesn't really matter then. I'll guess I'll just let the Gohan beat it. Anyways, yeah. So what I'm going to do for the first setup here, I made sure I gave the Vegeta the first attack, right? What I want to do is I'm going to get the Vegeta in multiple scenarios. I want to show him alongside the Gohan. I want to show him alongside transforming Vegeta at his final state. I want to show him alongside um, the Beerus and Whis because when Whis is on rotation, he gets a 50% increase, right? I want to show him in different scenarios. So right here, speaking of which, we get that. So here's a look at him, right? 50% increase. The links with Beerus uh, are pretty solid as well. He's got, uh, what is it, shocking speed? Not shocking speed. See, I just saw that there. He's got um, uh, Prodigies. He's got Fierce Battle. He's got most of what he needs other than some of the other Saiyan-centric stuff like Super Saiyan. But he does get 50% support from the Whis being on the rotation as well. So let's see if we can maybe get an additional Super Attack. And uh, then we'll really be talking here if we can actually pull one of those off. So here we go, starting things out with this Super Attack. This time around, we do not have any key support because Supreme Kai of Time is not here. And she was actually supplying that last time you guys saw this setup. After this, though, um, I am not going to really kind of go out of my way to focus on this too much. But what I will say is um, 2.79. It would be really good if we start getting any sort of additional supers. Like, in additionals with this guy are nuts. They're nuts because the defense raise as well. Like, it, that that's so massive, man. Um, in terms of if you can pop the additional, right? Uh, the attack increase, 50%. De a defense, 50%. You get that twice in a turn, it's for three turns, and all of a sudden he becomes a real, real monster, right? So I'm hoping that at some point we can pull that off. Uh, right here I'm going to go ahead and float Gohan out, because I do want to get Gohan and uh, Vegeta on another set, so we're going to try to set that up for now. But yeah, anyways, let me know how you guys feel about this guy in general, about how he works and what you think about him. Um, he reminds me a bit of the Merge Masu. It's, I think that's by design, though. I think he was made to kind of mirror uh, Tech Merge Masu's EZA just a little bit. And uh, they're definitely going out of their way to make God Key into multiple types of teams where you've got this one that's like a Zamasu-centric team, pretty much all villain stuff, right? And then you could have some units that kind of cross over in there and fit decently well with uh, some of the Zamasu units and help them out in different ways, right? But for the most part, Zamasu-centric Realm of Gods team 
and then a super class version of that featuring pretty much everyone else. And then on top of that, there's this little uh, dichotomy in there for the super class students where it's like, okay, well, you have this Beerus version. Uh, well, Beerus is good. He links decently well with some units, but having access to only shocking speed is not particularly great for units like this Vegeta, for example. You saw it there. He had six key. That's not where he wants to start, right? You have to give him a separate rotation like this one where he can actually get more key and be more uh, powerful and stuff like that as a result. So, like, they're doing this thing where they're building it separately, long story short. And uh, I'm here for it, man. I like it. I like it a lot. So, anyways, uh, the defensive support, right? He's at 111,000 defense here, pre-super. Also, the allies, right? That's, that's another really, really big deal. The allies, too. And when you talk about a unit like Beerus, who's like... 85 to 95 no let's go 90 to 95 percent hyper offensive he is ultra offensive right that defensive sport even if this machine is an off rotation type of role that's the cool thing uh he it allows for him to be in an off rotation type of role and offer that as well and then if you're versus sbr the mass debuffing is just oh my god and then you have weiss there too like it's 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 getting a little it's, it's, it's a little out of hand. <laughs> it's just a little out of hand, man. If you have Weiss, who's one of the best defenders in the game, basically with what he can do, you have Beerus as well. Uh, you know, just doing the damage, and then you have Axe, that guy off rotation to Vegeta. You're doing good things, man. You're just you're, you're living good, right? So, anyways, here we go. By the way, I want to say if you guys have not already done so, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, as well as that subscribe if you're new for more content on the channel. Like I said. Uh, the family man I am, I, I gotta get some sleep, man. I gotta, I gotta get some sleep. Uh, so I, I would love to show off the other units. Maybe tomorrow I'll get around to it. But for sure, tonight, 3 a.m., I can't do it. But that being said, like I said, check those ones out. Um, some other people will put up videos. I'm positive on that one. But I wanted to give a Vegeta out because I was super excited about his EZA. And uh, I've been waiting for it for a while. And I, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. This is, again, not his best content. He wants to be versus uh, enemies he can stun, for example. He wants to be versus uh, extreme class enemies, basically. But let's still get a nice look at what he can do and some different sets for him in general when he is on this type of team. And some of the numbers he outputs, right? Okay, so she didn't beat it there. Um, that's not particularly bad. I'm in a weird spot where I want to keep giving the physical Vegeta chances to super. But I want to give it to Int because Int, it's his video. But I want to give the physical the chance so he can build up his uh, stats and stuff as he transforms. Anyways, uh, here's a look at him with 50% support. He has, like, yet to do an additional super attack despite having an additional focus. <laughs> he, he's yet to do one. So, okay. Right. Maybe he did one earlier. Anyways, um, I don't remember him doing one. Long story short. So, anyways. Oh, a dodge. <laughs> He's at 3 million. So 3 million without being lucky with additionals. And then on top of that, though, again, the defensive support, the stunning, and the debuffing. When you combo defense support and debuffing, like, again, I, I need to really get that, that across, right? That makes for an incredible, incredible, one of the better, like, combinations in the game. Incredible defensive set. The only downside is you can't utilize it, from for the most part, outside of, like, Dokkan events, which... You don't really need to. You, you don't really need to worry about Dokkan events for the most part, right? It's just, and some of them you actually can't even do that type of stuff too anyway. More recent ones they took that away anyway. But sometimes I guess you can do some of that stuff. But for the most part, the main content type you're looking at is SBR, and those mass stuns, mass debuffs, all that type of stuff is always going to shred SBR anyway. So yeah, there we go. Uh, Weez coming through. So next round we're gonna have Vegeta. I think Supreme Kai of Time will be there this summer. Yeah, yeah, okay. Don't mind, don't mind me just taking a, a quick um, sip of coffee because I am, I am tired. I am tired. Very tired. All right, beat us, Summer. Uh, okay, yeah, we're not taking much damage, things like that. Not worried, though. Is this a turn where I can actually give him a, uh, a primary attack? Nah, I'm going to give it to Vegeta again. Sucks because I really want to build this guy's stats, but, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, so here we go. Once again, 133,000 defense on this turn. If I get the Dokkan attack here, he's just going to beat it. And I'm never I'm never going to get the additional attack. <laughs> it's just never going to happen. We're, we're shredding this event far too easily. It's just never going to happen. All right, whatever. I guess. I guess. <laughs> All seven Dragon Balls have been obtained. Yeah, we are just running through the Goku event. This is this is some no diff right here, man. Okay. 
And Explosion of Anger is also a really cool secondary category uh, for Gohan. Or Gohan, excuse me, uh, for Beerus. It allows for Gohan to be here, right? Oh, okay. I'm basically 6 million damage. Okay. Yeah, that, that's really cool. All right, let's move on. Blue Goku. And speaking of Gohan, he is completely, I don't want to say useless, but not really uh, helping out too much on this set, but that's fine. Whis is still a god, literally, at this point of the match, so not worried about him either. I'll give you those, and we'll get all these ints with Gohan, and we are good to go. So, like, right here is a prime example. So, Beerus. Again, hyper offensive unit. If you haven't seen my primary video where I show off Beerus, he's over 8 million attack in a separate video. I'll leave that down below. Hyper offensive unit. Imagine if this was Vegeta instead of Gohan in this set. Beerus is tanking just fine here because he got the first hit, his defense went up, yada yada. Um, and he also has the healing and stuff like that with Whis. Pretty much they want you to know item. Like, by the way, they basically want you to know item. He's going to dodge this. No way. No way you don't dodge this. Okay. Yeah. They basically want you to know item the Realm of Gods SBR stage and also S uh, Super Class 1, apparently, with the Realm of Gods team. Anyways, no, in all seriousness, though, so imagine it being Gohan back there where you really have no worries, right? We stacks his defense every time he dodges. Just crazy stuff. Crazy stuff like that. I feel so bad for this Vegeta. I feel so bad for him. He's going to be my best linking buddy, but he never got a chance to really, really stack like that, which is annoying. Because <laughs> I have to keep giving this guy the attacks because if I don't, his three turns kind of wears out. Anyways, I'll go ahead and do it again. I don't feel bad in, in sense of, like, giving the Vegeta the attacks, but I feel bad that the other one never really gets a chance to do anything. Anyways, uh, so here we go. Again, all the links are pretty much triggered here. In terms of what we have here, let's just kind of go over that really quickly. We have Super Saiyan, Check, Royal Lineage, Prodigies. We have, uh, we do not have Godly Power. We have all the links but Godly Power. Instead of Godly Power, what he has is Saiyan Warrior Ace, which Gohan does have. So I want to get Gohan on the set as well, put the Vegeta in the middle, and that's what we want to do. Yeah, so we don't have that, but we have everything else with the Vegeta. So that's kind of why it took a little bit to get our desired set here. Uh, but if I get Gohan back there, Gohan has a 50% support, and then we'll really be cooking, man. We'll really, really be cooking. Okay, additional? Yes, thank you. Finally. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, well, Vegeta, well, the other Vegeta. We'll wrap this up right here. Uh, okay, okay, okay. This is perfect. This this worked out great. Imagine if I can get two turns of additionals in a row. That's what I'm really trying to get now. Two turns of additionals would be amazing. So next time we have Gohan on the set too, which is exactly what I wanted. This couldn't have gone any better, to be honest. All right. So just because I don't want Whis to, or Beerus, excuse me, to cost me the match, I'm going to put uh, Beerus in front, use that item. I'm certain that we didn't need an item, though. I don't really feel bad about, you know, needing an item right here. I don't think we did. But better safe than sorry. Anyways, here we go. Yep, I didn't need an item. If the first hit wasn't going to be a super, I'm pretty positive Beerus was going to be fine. I say this actually, never mind. Beerus could have got hit for a super of like 400,000, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be so confident. Anyways, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> that is a lot. Again, remember, check out his separate video where he destroys this event. Like, he is, he shreds it. He is so incredibly good. It's not even funny. All right, so we <laughs> 1.8. Took another sip there. Dodging and stuff. Yeah, we didn't need that. <laughs> well, it'll be useful for next turn. It's not like Vegeta was going to take much damage anyway. But I guess physical Vegeta is now going to be solid defensively, even though he didn't get a chance to stack, like, ever. Did he do, like, a... He, he might have got one super before transformation. <laughs> Anyways. um, So Gohan is here next time. All right. So what I'll do this time around... I want to, from here, actually, I'm going to float out... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to float out the other Vegeta. I know it's weird because I just got him to transform. But I'm pretty close to the end of this video, and I want to show this Vegeta in different scenarios. I want to show him alongside this Gohan and the Vegeta, the other one, right? And then also alongside Supreme Kai of Time, just different things like that. He's at 200,000 defense basically right now, offering support to the physical Vegeta as well, who's now at 118 despite hardly ever getting any supers. I'm going to call that W. So, yeah, I want to show him with different stats here, and that will kind of be our conclusion. So, here we go. As long as Gohan doesn't somehow miraculously find a way to beat this with, like, hardly any orbs, I'm cool. Gohan, please don't, by the way. 
Thank you. Okay. I was like, man, it would have to be miraculous. 3.46. Ah, oh, additional. Come on. Ah, it has to be a super. Oh. Ah. 3.46 attack, though. That's pretty powerful, man. This dude's at basically 3.5 million. That's pretty powerful. I'll take it. On a, on a unit that's, again, doing all the other intangible stuff. But I do think he's probably a unit that you want to have a dupe in, obviously, because of the way he works. But basically being that powerful, doing all the intangible stuff he does, I'm going to take that. I'm gonna, again, I'm going to chalk that up to a huge W. A huge W. Not a small W, a huge W. Okay. Uh, for the last one here, I'm going to get... Yeah, we'll get these. Or do I want to use an item? Eh, I have max HP. Whatever. If I lose here, whatever. But yeah, I'm going to chalk that up as a huge W. Nice job, Whis. <laughs> nice job again. <laughs> Great job, Whis. Excellent. Did I mention Whis is an incredible defensive type of unit? Especially in SBR where he can freaking debuff and seal. Like, come on now. Like I said, they want you to basically know item SBR, man. They basically do. Great job, Beers. Great job not beating it. No, great job. Hopefully this one does. Hopefully this one can do it. Looks like it's going through. Okay, cool. Here we move on. Also, all that defense down just shreds this stupid event. All righty. Here we go. Home stretch, baby. Now, he doesn't have all the raw links, so this isn't his desired rotation, but I wanted to show it anyway for the people that might have been wondering. And here's a look at the stats. 180,000 defense, basically. Going to give Gohan these orbs. Give you this. And last thing we're going to do is give you those. And that should be, I think, where we wrap this up. Yeah, yeah, So, not really interested in trying to beat it, per se. We already kind of know how this works, right? We know that this team, this they can beat this. I have all my items. Like, I have nothing to prove. Uh, but I wanted to show the Vegeta and just kind of show how what he can do and how he, he functions on this set. So... 2.9, uh, 2.5, excuse me, 4.9. Um, okay, if I ever get additionals, he just reds. If you don't get additionals, he's pretty decent offensively. But, again, remember, a large part of what he does is meant to be versus extreme class enemies for that debuff chance, right? For that debuff chance. So, just to summarize, extreme class enemies lose 20% attack while you offer 50% ally support. Right? That's incredibly huge. Incredibly huge. It makes him useful on any of the SBR stages that are out for these categories if they feature uh, extreme class enemies, basically. Right? Keep that in mind. So, on top of that, the defense up. He mainly was an offense only unit for the most part, despite having the debuff, which was still good prior, but it was mainly all offense. Three turn attack raise, attack here, old meta style unit. They added defense, and I'm cool with that. And they improved on his package just a little bit in terms of what he does. Key multiplier is 140, which is not bad either. Have an awesome day, everyone. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Peace. And if you guys enjoyed, hit that thumbs up. Peace.